Hello everyone and welcome to another video review by Cinepeak Geek. Today I'm going to talk about an AMC television series by the name of Halt and Catch Fire. I'm going to talk about my thoughts and opinions on episode 3 titled High Plains Hardware. So what we have in this episode is we have the company of Cardiff Electric and they're pretty much trying to sell off their new you know, computer business, that whole thing. They're pretty much trying to, to sell their product to somebody else. That way they can get their business up and running. That's pretty much the main gist of this episode. We're also given some insight to certain characters, you know, you know, spoilers coming up. Our main, Mackenzie Davis's character, is told she can no longer live there at the office, so we have that whole thing going on, and some, and we find out some big things about Lee Pace's character later on in the episode, but I'll talk about that in just a second. That's pretty much the main plot of the AMC television series with the name of Halt and Catch Fire, for episode 3 titled High Plains Hardware. Overall, I loved this episode. You know, we're only three episodes into the AMC television series name of Halt and Catch Fire. And, you know, it's just it's equal up to a really good series. Just there's some really crazy stuff going on. Let's first talk about, you know, let's before I get to the kind of the twist there at the end, let's talk about some of the little minor details. This is one of those shows where you can already tell Similar to cases like, you know, Mad Men, you know, and other AMC television shows, you know, it's the series is quite a bit different than Mad Men, but it's similar in the fashion where it's a very slow show. It's a very dialogue heavy show, it's a very slow and steady show, slow at its pace, allowing you to marinate in the details. So this is exactly what the AMC television show by the name of Halt and Catch Fire is. It's very slow, so if you like those talk heavy shows that really develop on their characters, the characters are in some great dramatic sequences, you get an insight and a personal journey into each and every character, Halt and Catch Fire, the AMC television show, is definitely for you because it's exactly what the show does. What we have here is, you know, as, for example, Mackenzie Davis's character, you know, we end up actually having a case where she is actually able to, you know, get her paycheck for once, and she actually, instead of stealing clothes, she actually gets to go buy a bunch. You see her partying, you see her write the lipstick on the mirror, so there's some great character development scenes with her character, where at first, you know, we thought, you know, we may have thought she was something else, and then you get to see who she really is, and that she is really smart after all, towards the end of that episode. So I like those scenes with her. You get some big insight, you know, as I said earlier, some big, you know, sort of personal journey, you know, scenes, with Gordon Clark's character, seeing his family, seeing his kids, seeing him have to deal with the struggle of the work of Cardiff Electric, this new, you know, IBM backwards engineering a computer. Not only that, but as also his family life also. So I like those scenes with him also. Let's talk about that scene at the end, that big twist. You know, I'm not really for sure what it entails. I'm not for sure what's going on there. I, you know, but let's talk about you know, and if you don't, you know, Joe McMillan. An interesting character, maybe the most interesting character in Halt and Catch Fire, the AMC television show. The interesting scene at the end, Major Explorer coming up, where he, you know, they're going, they're going to get wine, and he sees the, he sees the guy, and we don't know the, if the guy's gay or not. Either way, Lee Pace's character, Joe McMillan's character, ends up totally making out with the guy. It wasn't just a kiss. It wasn't just some peck. He pretty much just starts, you know, kissing him, whatever you want to call it. Now I'm not for sure if he was just trying to make a deal or if he was had something sly underneath him or maybe he was really gay and maybe he was really attracted to him. I'm not really for sure. You guys are going to have to, you know, sound off on the comment board below and let me know what you guys think about that scene because it was really it was a big twist for me. And I and I but I like the twist. It was a good twist. It was a big twist. It was an extremely unexpected twist, should I say? And I'm not sure if he's actually gay or if he is just was just trying to make a deal with you know he was just trying to you know get his way or get what he wants I'm not for sure exactly you know who he is that's the thing about Lee Pace's character in this show uh, Halt and Catch Fire the Amazing Television Show that he's a very mysterious character and slowly we're starting to find out who he is that was an intense scene probably the most interesting scene in the show so far but there are some great dramatic sequences also uh, with every character, you know, we even get we even get some insight into Car I believe it's the actor's name, Carrie Beach's character. You know, the boss of Cardiff Electric. Uh, where you see him. You know, he is he is allowed to sleep at work, but for some reason, Mackenzie Davis's character isn't. So not only do we have our three main characters being developed, we also have the main uh, boss of Cardiff Electric also being developed. All in all, a really good episode. And it seems that next week it's all about you know who's in charge. Is is Lee Pace in charge? or is, you know, the boss of Cardiff Electric in charge. So we have that whole thing going on there. Anyways, really good episode. Enjoying the series so far. 
That's my review of episode 3 titled High Plains Hardware for the AMC television series name of Halt and Catch Fire. Once again, thanks for watching the video by Cinepeak Geek. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe to my page below, and I'll see you guys later with more videos.